you have been in this uh, space for so long. What I do know that there's no community. There are communities. You know, even within Linux kernel, there are different communities. So, so there will be, you know, and now let's talk from Akamai's perspective, you know. Uh, how do you see the AI communities or AI native communities and cloud native communities will be intersecting? And uh, what role like vendors or players like Akamai can play? Uh, as a bridge between these two communities, because the fact is that a lot of AI folks they have nothing to do with cloud native. They they have nothing to do with the open source. They have nothing to do with because it's a totally different world altogether. Cloud native is a totally different world altogether. So now they are coming closer and closer because that's what the workload you demand. So what role you feel that organization like Hamai or even CNCF can play as an intersection? It probably is fair to say that you know a number of the largest um, AI communities, uh, sorry, AI uh, vendors like OpenAI or Anthropic are, you know, not members of the CNCF today. But I think what you'll find is that the organizations that are running those infrastructures are part of the CNCF. And I think that's where the focus is. So, you know, what, what we're seeing now is um, uh, this, um, uh, at, at on the keynote, we announced the uh, Kubernetes AI conformance um, uh, initiative. And this conformance initiative is, is effectively ensuring that Kubernetes um, can run AI workloads in a portable way. And we've had, you know, all of the large cloud providers, including Akamai, um, uh, conform, you know, uh, sign up to the conformance and prove that they are actually compatible. And what this means is, is that now it makes it easier for all of those different um, AI companies, whether they're, you know, building, whether they're one of the, you know, big mega companies all the way down to, you know, smaller companies building their first inferencing cluster, for example, can, can do this on Kubernetes in a reliable way with taking advantage with, you know, the observability and the serving of LLMs and the GPU orchestration as, as part of that uh, cloud native stack. 